Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing and review video and I'll be opening the Travelon Anti-Theft Classic Slim Bag. I have used a few anti-theft uh, products by Travelon in the past and uh, I have liked uh, all of them and actually this is my third uh, Travelon Anti-Theft product and today I'll open this up and then we'll talk about uh, you know, the quality and the features and whether uh, this is a good buy or not. So let me just first uh, open up uh, the package. So it came just like this. Uh, there's no additional packaging or anything. So it's just a wrapped in a plastic wrapper. So I'll just open it, this up, which should be very easy to do. So here's what we have, uh, Anti-Theft Classic uh, Sling Bag. Uh, just to mention that uh, Travelon has another anti-theft uh, sling bag which is called the Arban sling bag and the reason I didn't buy uh, the other one but rather I bought this one because this one looked a little bit smaller than the Arban sling bag and it looks you know a little bit more uh, user friendly in terms of uh, carrying and uh, everything uh, but uh, when I bought uh, this uh, the classic and the Arban they are going uh, the price was the same so I had to just choose which one uh, I wanted to buy and uh, this is not a paid or affiliated review uh, there's no affiliated link there's no nothing uh, all my reviews are on non-affiliated unbiased and honest so the bag is 7 by 14 uh, by 3.5 inch so it's uh, 3.5 uh, this way and it's 7 inch this way and this is uh, 14 inch and uh, I'll show you some of the features and then we'll, uh, you know I'll show you inside of the bag so whenever you're traveling uh, the main concerns are that you know someone go is going to uh, or thieves are going to uh, slash your bag or they can like you know open up uh, the zipper and they can just uh, uh, take stuff from the inside uh, very quickly or very fast uh, for example from here or from here and also there's a chance that the thieves can cut your uh, strap uh, and you know run away can run away with your bag so this bag addresses all of the common um, problems you might face when you're traveling uh, uh, from the professional uh, thieves or you know con people and uh, that's why this is a very uh, good uh, purchase if you are traveling in countries where you're not safe with uh, you know carrying a bag uh, in your bag all the time in the past I have had uh, a different bag not an uh, anti-theft bag yeah, you know uh, on the back and I never had any problem but I didn't feel safe uh, knowing that you know I have stuff like you know cameras or other uh, things in my bag but this bag should address the problem so just take a let's look at the front side of the bag so we have a zippered uh, pocket here and you can see right here that you know there is a anti-theft lock uh, mechanism so what it is that you have to just like you know once you zip it up uh, then you have to just like you know lock it by putting uh, the zip uh, in the lock right here so now this is not like you know uh, the thieves can still open it but it's not that it's not going to be that easy to open so that's a, a deterrent right there low so if the thief sees that you know this type of uh, locking mechanism in place then uh, he or she will move on to the next one because you know thieves don't have time and they don't want to take chances for something like this and another possibility is that you know if it's a uh, high level thief or if it's a like you know uh, professional uh, great thieves and then they know these type of bags and hopefully that you know once they see that you have this type of bag they're going to uh, move on to the next person they're not going to you know or concentrate on your bag so once you open the first pocket the front pocket here and uh, there's the space right in here and there's no organizational uh, pocket inside it so it's just a simple uh, space in here uh, which you can see and in here you can uh, put in stuff like you know, your passport or uh, cell phone or other small items so like in you know, a boarding pass or uh, tickets or anything uh, in that nature and then uh, on this side of the bag uh, there's no pocket or no nothing but if you look on this side of the bag then you see that there's a pocket and this is like you know zippable so if you unzip this then you're gonna get a 
water bottle holder or you can even put in an umbrella and it has a good you know level of uh, elasticity so you can just like you know uh, put in stuff and it's going to hold tight so it shouldn't come off uh, very easily but if you don't need to use that then you can just you know uh, zip it up and then it makes the bag uh, look slimmer so on the back side of the uh, bag there's a nice mesh padding uh, to give you comfort uh, comfortable hold on your bag and uh, it's not like it hard it's very soft and nice material so on the back side of the bag there are two buckles where you can hold onto the shoulder strap and both of these offer locking uh, strap so what it means that uh, once you put in your uh, shoulder strap uh, which is attached to this to lock it you can just slide it to the right a little bit and this is locked now so you cannot just you know, open it that easily uh, if you want to open it then you have to move it towards the left and then you have to uh, pull it down to unlock this or to unzip this so this is just another deterrent to you know uh, prohibit tips from preying on your bag and then you can move either here or either here and then uh, the shoulder strap we have right here and the uh, shoulder strap has actually a wire cable inside so it's cut proof or slash proof and the whole body of the bag which has you know wired mesh uh, so they are made of uh, some sort of uh, metal it could be stainless steel or something else but if you slash it then uh, you can still damage the bag but uh, the thieves will not be able to get inside the bag so that uh, the, all, the whole bag is wrapped in slash proof uh, mesh material which is like a net uh, or metallic net uh, that protects your bag from thieves and other professional uh, con men same um, mechanism here uh, but let's say what I can see here that uh, you know the zipper moves both ways whether this ways or this way but if it's in here then you're able to lock it with this side of the buckle but if you uh, move the zipper all the way on the other side of the bag then i don't see that you know you can lock lock this anywhere so this is a feature in case if you want to zip it the other way but if you want to use the lockable feature then you have to just uh, you know close the bag this way so let's open the bag right now okay so once you open the bag it has some organizational pockets uh, so the first pocket i can see is right here uh, here you can put your uh, passport or some other papers and then uh, they have actually a key fob looks like uh, it has a light uh, which is to you know see you in the dark or at night uh, you can easily look inside the uh, pocket so this should be good enough if you're looking or searching for uh, anything the in the, at, at night or somewhere where it's dark and then you can just like you know uh, keep your key attached to this key fob right here and then on this side of the bag uh, I can see that some credit card uh, slots and then there's another pocket here okay so this pocket looks a little bit deep uh, you can put keep in your passport in here as well uh, if you don't want to keep it in here uh, uh, there's another place and then the thing about the credit card slots they look too small and looks like you know they are too way above high so i would be comfortable if they would have a little bit more space because it looks like you know they're very close to the zipper or opening of the bag although like it has locking mechanism but you know if these were a little bit down then i think it would be more comfortable or harder for thieves to just you know put the hands and take it out so and then these look a little bit too small uh, however for me that's not a problem because i'm not going to be keeping my credit cards or anything here but that's something you know they should uh, look at it uh, not to make this so tiny so these pockets are rfid proof uh, if you see the you know rfid sign here that means they have rfid protection so it looks like to me that uh, this side uh, of the bag doesn't have RFID protection but this side has RFID protection 
so you can use you know this site to keep your passport or uh, credit cards or anything and then uh, inside the bag looks like uh, the space amount is uh, not bad uh, it's not gonna fit in a lot of stuff but that's not the purpose of a travel sling bag so whenever you're out on a day trip you just want to keep a few like you know items or accessories for example uh, your camera your passport your wallet uh, like you know water bottle uh, papers uh, itineraries and that sort of stuff so that serves the purpose and I can see that you know even if, if you can uh, slash in a, a lightweight jacket uh, if you roll it up and then it should fit uh, there should be enough space for a jacket you can keep in some other few small items so that should be good enough now another feature of the lockable uh, shoulder strap is that uh, let's say you're having a coffee or you're eating at a restaurant or you're just resting somewhere you can actually lock this with a pole or you can just lock this with a chair or something fixed object and that way uh, you know if the thief or professional uh, con people they want to run away with your bag uh, it's not going to be that easy because it's locked with a fixed object so you can use it that way as well i'm going to show you the tag right here and looks like you know it has some of the description which i just mentioned so let's take a look at it uh, in case i missed something So splash, uh, sorry, slash resistant straps uh, and then locking hardware and compartments. And then we have here RFID blocking uh, interior pockets and then slash resistant uh, mesh panels, which I mentioned before. And then on this side, we have the same thing. Uh, so it looks like, you know, they are just uh, giving the features which I already mentioned and uh, this is the travel on anti-theft classic sling bag so this is not a very expensive bag uh, usually it's like you know running for 50 to 60 dollars on amazon uh, you, okay, which is canadian money but if you grab it on sale then you can get get it even lower price and then uh, you know they should give you this should last a long time uh, for use and this should be a very good you know uh, accessory when you travel because you don't want to feel uncomfortable or unsafe keeping uh, stuff in a bag which can be easily cut slashed or opened and thief can like you know run away with your passport or other stuff uh, which can be some of them can be very expensive for example a camera or your cell phone or your other electronic items